Good morning, afternoon, evening or night to all of you depending on your time. After almost a year of working on this project, I finally have some numbers to show. I've applied two load scenarios and compared the numbers with stock cooling and then with the LLL attached. The two loads are IEDA64 and then Prime95 for CPU stress testing combined with IEDA64 for GPU stress testing. I should also mention that the CPU was undervolted by 100 millivolts throughout the tests. The thermal interface material between the dies and the pipes is a liquid metal and between the pipes and the washer block it was a cheap graphite sheet with thermal conductivity of 10 watts per meter kelvin. Changing this for something with a higher thermal conductivity could definitely lower the temps you're about to see even further. So, AIDA64 first. I stressed the CPU, FPU, cache and GPU. At stock the laptop couldn't complete a single run of 10 minutes, so I had to disable Turbo Boost to get reliable results. CPU temps dropped 10 degrees with clocks 200 MHz higher, and GPU temps dropped 13 degrees while it was running 25 MHz higher. I'll show you the results I managed to get with the same settings by, but Turbo Boost enabled. Keep in mind that the laptop crashed with stock cooling after 5 minutes of running the test every time, so these numbers are not exactly accurate in terms of stock cooling. The second load, Prime95 combined with AIDA64. In Prime95 custom settings were used and in AIDA64 only the GPU was selected. CPU clocks were limited to 2.59 GHz to allow the laptop to pass the 10 minutes required for each run. The results are similar to the first test. CPU dropped to 75 degrees from 87 degrees and GPU dropped to 65 degrees while running 40 MHz higher. Overall, ignoring the test that the laptop could not pass with stock cooling, the CPU dropped by uh, 11 to 12 degrees and the GPU dropped by 13 degrees. Considering the ghetto method of attaching the water block to the pipes I used, as well as the low thermal conductivity of the graphite pad and its high thickness, I consider these numbers a win. The LLL project is far from finished though. I'm already working on a housing for the water block that would allow easy and quick connection and disconnection. I've also found some graphite, pa graphite pads um, with much higher thermal conductivity and lower thicknesses. The attachment itself looks, um, well, let's just say it screams prototype so loud, I sometimes want to just throw it in the bin and design a new one, which is almost exactly what I'm going to do, um, except the part where I throw it in the bin, of course. In fact, I'm already working on a few possible designs. I don't want to show you too much just yet, I'll just say it will be smaller, better looking and will work from the laptop's USB Type-C instead of the socket. Anyway, I have a lot of plans for you to enjoy in the future and I'll keep you updated. This may well become something you want, so subscribe and don't miss anything. If this video sucked, go ahead and dislike it, but if it was great, you know what to do. Also, while you're down there, you could type up your thoughts about the project as a whole and the numbers I just showed. You can find a link to my Facebook profile page in the description. So if you'd like to know anything regarding the price of the LLL or a component of it, you should totally send me a private message there.